Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today we have our long-awaited Winter Willow Nook box which has been sent to me for review. Willow Nook is a lovely quarterly lifestyle box that is always curated perfectly for the season. I also love the unique element of always having an illustrated recipe card in there, often recipes from subscribers. I think that's really really special and she just does a really good job thinking out the curations. We get some unique items that you don't see in other boxes, a lot of handmade items or items from small businesses. So I think it's definitely a box to be on the lookout for, but also one that you can feel good about supporting. It's really reasonable at just $99 per quarter. So I think you're definitely getting your value in this box as well. It's a little confusing right now because the website needs to be updated a bit. So I think it says subscribe now to make sure you get the fall box, but there is a subscription subscribe area where you can use the code Noel 10 and that'll save you $10 on your first box. I think that some of this winter box might still be available, but you can check out the shop as well. And I believe that my shop discount code is also working and that's Noel 20 and that'll save you 20%. I checked on the Noel 10 code for the box, so you can definitely use that, but I'll leave all of the information for you in the description box below. But this is our lovely winter box. I did pre-score it and uh, take some of the labels off the top but it has this nice kind of big washi tape with some Christmas Christmassy looking pines even though you know the holidays are over but I a lot of boxes actually send their winter boxes in January because it does feel like we have quite a bit more of winter to go we just had Groundhog's Day right and I think Puxatani Phil told us we have six more weeks of winter which I know a lot of you are kind of like grimacing about so inside we have a cute little snowman uh, sticker on the tissue paper and of course our lovely card that tells us everything Thing. It's the theme is cozy winter dream. So it's just a little two-sided card this time around. And I love it. it says how to open this box. Prepare your favorite drink, put on your favorite music, settle into your nook, take a deep breath, open your willow nook box, cozy up and get creative because a lot of times there's items to just have a really nice evening in. Uh, I think that's perfect for the winter season. And of course we love it because our Facebook group is also called the Nobot Nook. So this box definitely goes along with that. So let's see, it says on the back, hello, dear friend, I hope the holidays treated you well and that your 2024 is off to a wonderful start. If you didn't quite start things off on the right foot, this is your sign to mentally and emotionally reset. You don't need to wait until 2025 to get on the path to achieving your goals. Admittedly, I am a little later with this box than I would have liked, but there is still plenty of winter left to enjoy. I really struggled with decisions this round, and in the end, I decided to keep it simple. This box is a cozy night in just for you whenever you need it. Schedule a date with yourself and embrace the solitude. I sincerely hope you love your winter box, Carissa. So I just think that's a sweet message, but look at you guys. We have a lot of items here listed at the bottom. She does include the retail values on them, which I do really appreciate, but it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items in this box for $99. That's amazing. So one of the items is kind of uh, nestling and uh, protecting some other items. So I'm going to start with these. Oh my gosh, these are so soft. You guys know I do like some fuzzy slipper socks to wear around the house. And these do have the little silicone nubs on the bottom so they don't go sliding across the floor. I love just the wintry design with that like nice snowflake. And they're really, really soft. I can't quite explain how soft they are. Let me see. I'm going to just... Tip get this little string off of there. They're really soft. And then look how soft and smooth, smooth, cuddly they are on the inside, but without being super duper thick. So I, I really like these. And of course, you guys know I love my black and gray. So of course, I absolutely love these. Let me see what it says. This is the Aroma Souls Neroli and Shea Butter Infused Slippers. Oh my gosh. Can I smell that? That's so cool. They're already infused. Maybe that's why they feel so soft. Rub socks together to release the scent. Let me rub the socks together to release the scent. Oh, wow. That is so neat. I don't know what happens when you wash them, but I've definitely seen these. I might have even gotten some of them, but my feet need that little extra bit of love. Shea butter infused. Yes, please. Thank you. I'm so excited. Those are so cute. I need to put them on right now. We are still experiencing what the news is lovingly and nicely calling the Pineapple Express. I'm like, that makes it sound 
way nicer and way sweeter and a lot brighter and more <laughs> happy than what it really is, which is just a lot and lot of rain that we of I know we're very spoiled here in Southern California, but the problem with that is that we're just not prepared for it. So um, I know a lot of you in the Midwest and on the East Coast are like, suck it up, California. It's just a little bit of rain. But for us, it's really a big deal just because we're not prepared for it in terms of like our infrastructure and, you know, our clothes, our work life, our commute. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is like such a great uh, two-in-one item and it smells so good. This is from Flameworks Apothecary. It is a vanilla latte candle in a mug, in a beautiful mug that you could totally reuse. Uh, like It's not like kind of a cheesy mug. It's beautiful. So that label comes off. It's got a wood wick, which we love because it has that beautiful sound to it, that crackle like a fire. Mmm, so a little bit of coffee, a little bit of vanilla. You guys, let's actually have a secret password while we're at it. So when you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you wanna enter it along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below. And then five days into the following month, so about five days into March, we're already in February now, um, I will use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box as my way of saying thank you for watching my videos. You have to be a subscriber of my channel. You have to be 18 years or older and you you do have to have a Canadian or US mailing address. Canadians, I work with you to figure out the best option, whether I send you a PayPal gift card or if I help you out getting a subscription box or if I go ahead and get some help from you with the shipping to send you a mystery box. But today's secret password is going to be latte because I could use a lot of lattes right now just to keep me awake with all of my work, but also to keep me warm and give me that sort of hugey feeling. I love this. So it's got kind of a matte, uh, really pretty like dark red on the bottom and then this is really smooth this sort of speckled almost like campfire mug glaze on there it's a good size it's got like a little handle i just love two-in-one stuff like this i love a candle vessel that you can totally use later and sometimes it's just a jar which is beautiful but you're like I guess I can put something in that jar, um, but this is actually really usable because it is a mug. So I'm excited about that. So this has a value of $28. It is handcrafted. She does note when they're handcrafted. By the way, the value on those amazing slipper socks was $20. So we're already doing really well on the value of this box. And so far, the first two items, definitely items that I think scream winter and are very useful for a nice evening in. She does a great job with the packaging too. Let's see what this is. I am excited. All right, so this is, I don't know, there's so much paper and then I just throw it all on the ground. Let's see, also something that seems fragile. Ooh, it's like a little crock pot. I wonder if it has a, a lid to it. Let's see, it says, this is, I have to find it. A reactive glaze ceramic soup crock. It's to like a 24 ounce size. It has a value of $12. I love the glaze of it. Oven, dishwasher, and microwave safe. So you could make like your own like little casserole in there. Definitely a great little soup bowl with the handles. I mean, you could do all kinds of things. You could put plant in there if you really wanted to, but I love this reactive glaze. It's really cool. So that is awesome. And um, I think it does go along with our recipe for for this time around. Sorry about that reflection, you guys. Okay, now this is what some of the fragile items were kind of nestled in. And I love this, even though it kind of has like a summery vibe to it. I mean, blue and white though is also very wintry, isn't it? Look at this throw. Isn't that beautiful? It's got like these this wool thread going through. It's like an ombre blue. And then this is really soft. I know you can never really tell on the screen how soft something is, but this is a nice soft throw that you could easily use as a blanket against your skins. You know, sometimes we get these beautiful wool throws and they're like just a little bit too fuzzy or they're a little bit too scratchy. You want to put it on top of like your comforter or something, but this you could definitely put over bare legs on the couch, I feel like, and cuddle up. But it's really pretty with that 
thick kind of yarn threaded through there. Got to be careful like to not snag that, but let's see what it says. This is an interwoven throw blanket in cream and oceanic. So it does, I think it's going to transition so well, right, with these colors from um, winter, blue and white, blue and cream, um, into spring, into summer, because it's got that oceany, summery vibe to it, and then right on into fall. So um, let's see, this is, this is a nice year-round throw because it does have like a lightness to it. It's not like super duper thick, right? It's perfect. So this has a value of, let me find it. I just saw it, $34. Wow. All right. So I feel like we've already gotten the value of our box just in those first four items. And again, they're all items I would totally use. Okay. This is an item I might not necessarily use, but it is awfully cute. So let me just hide this blue. I've been trying to like hide the blue. It's been distracting. These is from Frosty Flare. <laughs> Frosty Flare for fabulous hair. Look at these wintry scrunchies. So we got two of them. One is in a faux fur and then one is in a cream knit. Those are actually pretty darn cute. Like if you do like a big messy updo, like a bun or something, I think those could be really, really cute. Um, so let's see what it says about these. Frosty Flare Scrunchies, two pack, value of $6. So she's not like inflating the value on things. I think those are actually pretty darn cute. And I could use them around my house. And it's also nice to have like kind of softer scrunchies that are like easier on your hair than normal elastics sometimes. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, we have a little, um, she does do some fun, like, custom stickers. So we have the Cozy Winter Dream to go along with the theme of the box sticker. And then she made the Willow Nooks, like, uh, logo or just the name really small, really subtle. So that I appreciate. Oh, this is a little card from Flameworks Apothecary. We've got some more stuff to go, though. Okay, so this is all, like, wrapped up in plastic to make sure that there was no spillage. So let me see if I can make my way into this, uh, saran wrap um <laughs> extravaganza here it doesn't look like there was any leakage but i might just use my scissors to help me out to get in there easily but i appreciate that forethought because it would have been a bummer if there was any leakage and you guys know how rough my shipping situation has been and i feel like i've been having a lot of like shipping delays because of weather here in california but also across the country obviously oh yeah because it didn't have like a little plastic wrap on the top so carissa must have done this herself so thank you carissa oh this is really pretty man this this uh plastic wrap is very sticky it's doing a good job of staying stuck to itself so i'm trying to reveal this so that you guys can actually see all of the looks like rose petals floating inside so this is i have to find what this is i think this is the brown sugar vanilla jojoba glow body oil it has a value of 14 dollars. oh my gosh i'm just like making it tighter at the bottom instead of helping myself get it off it's like, it's trying, I'm trying so hard, you guys. I gotta use my scissors again. Almost there, almost there. Whew. This is, this is rough. This is like my arm workout for the day. All right, look at those beautiful rose petals floating in there. See, that was worth me taking the time to get that off of there. So brown sugar vanilla. So that's gonna smell delicious. It's from a company called Simone Cosmetics and it's spelled with a C. And then an X at the end, a Y X at the end. So it just says, after exfoliating with our body scrub, spread a quarter sized amount of body oil all over the body to lock in moisture. So body oils are fantastic. And I used to think that they would actually be really oily, but of course they're not. And in the winter months, especially our skin is so dry. It's just going to soak it up, but also give you that nice little glow. So glow body oil. So it is handcrafted. That's an awesome item. Here is our recipe card, but hold on. I want to see if there's anything else that I need to find in here. There is. What is this? This is like a slicer of some sort, right? What is this? Hmm. I have to figure out what this is. Oh, it's an onion slicing guide. It has a value of $5. How cool is that? That's so cool. So I think you do this, right? And you like poke the onion. And then that way you can slice it and make it really, really fine. Wow, that is super smart. And then it's got this little hearth, heart like sheath to it so that, you know, you don't poke yourself with it. That is so smart. Have you ever used one of those? I have never used one of those. I don't do a lot of cooking that requires dicing onions. And I will admit that sometimes I'm that lazy person that will already buy like the mirepoix, like sliced and diced already for me. 
Look at how thoughtful she included a little jar of matches with beautiful blue, so light blue, dark blue, and white, so they kind of match the colors of the blanket for our candle. Let me see if I can show you all those beautiful match, um, match colors. Can you guys see those? That's so pretty. That's so cool. All right. Thanks, Carissa. That's that's the kind of thoughtful curation that she does as someone who's like a one woman show and she like really takes the time to do all that kind of stuff for us. Ooh, moisture mittens from Spa Life Smoothing, hand mask with cocoa butter and almond oil. So we've got lots of great self care in here. You put on your slipper socks that are infused with aloe and neroli. You do your mittens, you get off of your phone for a little while, you know, get out of the shower first, do your body oil, then do all this stuff. Have your lovely vanilla latte candle flickering and crackling in the background um, and maybe you are just hopped in the shower because you made this amazing recipe which this time around is for French onion soup for one right right how thoughtful such a good curation she does such a good job every time so I think this is she was saying oh it's actually a recipe by Carissa it's um and I love that it's for one it's got like the crispy like bread to go on top of it. I think she said this is one of the first times that she's actually done more of a savory thing instead of a dessert. And I think that's like kind of after all the holidays and all the baking and all the sweets and stuff, I feel like this is kind of like a welcome change. And I also love that it's a recipe for one. You know, you could probably share it with someone as like the starter for a bigger meal, but also I'm not like a huge onion person, but I will not turn down a nice crusty French onion soup either. So and look how beautiful it is. And I just love the idea of every quarter uh, switching out your displayed recipe in your kitchen, like whether you have it in a frame or whether you have it like on a recipe cookbook stand, which we've gotten a couple of those, including from Willow Nook Box. I just think it's a really great idea. So let's go over everything that we got in this Honestly, this is like probably one of the best winter boxes that I've gotten, like just in terms of thoughtfulness and use and um, like just beautiful handmade items. So we got, we started with something really fantastic, our Flameworks Apothecary beautiful mug candle, smells really good. It's a little sweet for me, but it kind of smells like a good hot cocoa in a way. Like there's not like a ton of the, like a little bit of the coffee, but like not not crazy so that's perfect sweetness without being overwhelming so a vanilla latte ceramic mug candle our brown sugar vanilla jojoba body oil with the beautiful rose petals floating in there our interwoven throw blanket in cream and oceanic this is gorgeous and super duper soft and i love it our reactive glaze ceramic soup crock to go along with this beautiful illustrated recipe so good and then for hands and feet so she's got you covered head to toe we have these uh infused slipper socks that feel so soft moisture mittens for your hands because they do a lot of work whether or not you work from home or out and about um and then our onion slicing guide i forgot that that was a fun little like kitchen item to include to go along with our recipe and crock our fun flare scrunchies oh i forgot to show you again the the matches that came with the candle and um that's what like so head to toe hands to feet everything covered and even your belly to give you a little bit of winter warmth i think this is fantastic covered with a blanket love the blanket love the candle i think those are my two favorites but i also just really love i think this is a very useful kind of size ceramic crock to have in your home you could also use it for nice really um like baked dips that you're gonna serve at a you know a potluck or if you're having people over or you're just like spending some time in front of the tv and having a movie night like a really good like warm you know artichoke dip or something in there would be pretty awesome. Um, I know you probably all have some really good dip recipes. We should do that. We've been thinking about doing like a Nobot Nook recipe book one day and I think that would be really great because I know a lot of people are thinking about their dip recipes for the upcoming, uh, not holiday, but like the Super Bowl is a holiday. I feel like it almost is in terms of people's like recipes that they make every single year. Let me know in the comments below, is there like a recipe that you are famous for for potlucks? Like it doesn't have to be for the Super Bowl. I've known we're not all football fans, but is there like something that people always ask you 
you to bring because I would love to know is it a savory thing is it a sweet thing like what are you known for I used to be known for bringing my Vietnamese summer rolls just because nobody else wanted to take the time to make them but these days I don't necessarily get called upon to do that anymore and I'm kind of happy about it Shh. So don't tell anybody you guys i loved this box carissa you did a fantastic job you guys i think there might be, still be some available and these like you know she might have gotten the box out a little bit later than she wanted to but these are all still very useful for the foreseeable future at least in my corner of the world which is usually warmer than the rest of the other corners of the world i hope you all enjoyed this unboxing if you got to this point and you missed it there was a secret password so make sure you go back and get that and i will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing